10,460. A bill which will surely raise eyebrows has been introduced in the Senate. It's a legislation which seeks to ban the importation and use of generating sets in the country to curb the menace of environmental pollution. Senator Mohammed Bima from Niger State is the sponsor of the bill and it is read for the first time during Wednesday's plenary session. The proposed legislation states that any person who imports generating sets or knowingly sells generating sets shall be guilty of an offence and be liable on conviction to be sentenced to imprisonment for a term not less than 10 years. However, this does not apply to the importation or sale of any generating set to be used for essential services, which includes hospitals and nursing homes, airports, railway stations, elevators and research institutions, or such facilities that require 24 hours electric power supply. It further states that approval for exclusion shall be obtained from the minister in charge of power who shall brief the Federal Executive Council quarterly on approvals granted. The bill is already eliciting discussions and strong opinions on social media hours after it is introduced on the floor of the Senate. For a country where its citizens rely on generators for electricity because of inadequate power supply, it's a bill which will be closely monitored by Nigerians. <coughs> Meanwhile, a couple of constitution amendment bills are passing second reading in the Senate. They are a bill to amend the constitution to make provision for the financial autonomy of local government councils. A bill to provide immunity for members of a legislature in respect of words spoken or written at plenary sessions or committee proceedings, as well as a bill to preclude the Federal High Court from entertaining pre-election disputes emanating from Congress, conferences, conventions or other meetings convened by political parties for the purpose of electing members of its executive committees of other governing bodies. Senate President Ahmed Lawan refers the Constitution Amendment Bills to the Committee on Constitution Review.